Hi, I'm Rick Dior. So last night I was playing a gig and uh, there was a load in and normally I load in all my own stuff but there were some stagehands there and they wanted to be helpful and one of them dropped my cymbals onto a concrete uh, floor. So uh, we ended up getting some dents in the edge of the, of the cymbals and this has happened before. Sometimes you're not looking and people just grab stuff and uh, normally I insist on moving all my own things unless it's a union hall. This was not and so I kind of paid the price for that but I have a number of symbols here that I'm going to fix today that have these uh, little flea bites in there and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you how I do it. It has happened before if you play long enough and pretty much gig every night you're going to have things like this happen. So the first thing is I would suggest some sort of hard symbol case which I normally use but here uh, was a very basic load in. I thought it'd be not a problem. And I used a regular, you know, pretty heavy bag. Uh, luckily, it was a heavy bag because he dropped it from about five feet up. And this could have been a lot worse. No cracks or anything. So, what I have here are a bunch of files that I use. So, I'll start with a coarse one and then work all the way to a very fine file. And that's what I suggest you do too. So, in order. Of them and you can feel it this is a very fine this is more coarse and this is the most coarse this is the one I call the brutal file which will pretty much take anything out but you got to be real careful with these finally if it needs it I'll use this Dremel tool here and uh, I have a fine uh, stone on here normally used for polishing and make sure you use goggles when you do this. And I can run around really, really lightly like that. And you edge it. And I'll show you this in a minute. It's kind of like holding a pencil like that. And that will get rid of most of the egregious ones. And finally, you can use some really fine sandpaper. Here I'm using 400 grit. It's actually wood sandpaper. And that will take care of some of that. The, the thing you don't want to do is scratch the symbol or create any kind of cracks or make the problem worse. So it's a little bit touchy. I've done this for a lot of students as well over the years. So we'll start out here with this symbol. This is an artisan uh, symbol with rivets, very thin. This got the least amount of damage. So we'll start with our fine file. And what you want to do is work on the edge. And the widest one possible is, is what you want in this case to start with. So you'll do that. Don't apply any pressure, just use the weight of the file. And you want to avoid um, filing it in one place because you'll create a notch. In other words, you make the problem worse. So you see already that's a lot better. And you will see some of the symbol the brass come off in tiny little pieces. Now if it's again this is uh, pretty fine but if it's much worse you could use the the coarse file. You'll hear the difference right away. Alright so that's that's looking really good and then we'll use the medium one. Pretty much common sense here. And then finally, the fine file once again. So that's much better. Now, where you'll see the damage mostly is when you look at it sideways. And hopefully, the camera will pick this up. Okay, so you can look at it from the bottom too. And you can work that way as well with the fine file. And you'll probably see all that kind of brass dust there. The most important thing are, is the angle. So this is a pretty steep angle at the bottom.
and again hopefully you can see that dust so that's way better I can live with that I can barely see it and then finally you can take uh, like I said 400 grit sandpaper and don't don't put it on the edge like flat on the symbol just do it right there where the damage is done and just lightly you can apply a little more pressure here than with the files obviously because it's very very fine sandpaper and this tends to flatten out these grooves that were created so there we went from you know pretty big flea bite to hardly anything and you can just keep working at that uh, until you get it like you want it okay Once again, just try not to get too aggressive. So that's that's pretty good there. Okay, so let's go to the one that was damaged the most, which is very unfortunate. Let me grab this. So this is one of my favorite symbols. It's a Peisty Traditional 22. And man, this took the brunt. You see that? I was very upset. But I didn't yell at the guy. He was trying to be helpful. But, you know, what are you going to do in that case? And the gig hadn't even started yet. So, you know, I just took a real deep breath and uh, said, okay, well, I'll fix it tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now. So we'll start with this one, which has quite significant damage here, with a pretty coarse file. And we're going to go at an angle. So almost the angle of the symbol, how it goes down. And you see, I'm, it looks like at first I'm making it worse, but what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of these burrs. All right, and then we're going to go with a medium smaller file that I can really get in here and use two hands and try to straighten this sucker out. I think no matter what happens on this one, we're going to end up with a flea bite on there. I know for some of you this is going to be like fingers on a chalkboard, but it's really the only way to do it. And then we'll turn it over and we'll do the same thing. And it's not so bad here. So you see how I'm moving across there, that's important. Again, most of this is intuitive, you know, if you do anything with tools, you sort of feel how that needs to go. Alright, so that's the worst of it, and that's already much, much better, you can see. So now we still have to get these burrs out. And this is where it's touchy. So the steepest angle you can get without touching the rest of the symbol. All right, and then you take your fine file, and this is where all the cosmetic work gets done. We're just going to clean this up a little for a minute before we use the Dremel tool. Because you want to avoid using the Dremel tool if possible. But sometimes you just really have to do it. And because it's, that's very touchy as you'll see. But I think I'm going to have to do it here. So again, much, much better. Alright, so we're going to try this. Put on goggles always. And you just the thing is to have a really light touch. And start with it on low and you're going to do an angle. So 
So what I'm doing there is I'm just trying to flatten out where the brass got compressed. Okay, that's all you do. So you can feel that where it's not sticking up anymore. So I'll do it again. So now run your finger over there and it should feel pretty smooth, which it does. And then back to the file and the same thing. Now I do have a very small file, which I use. It looks like this, okay? It's mounted, kind of like a hacksaw blade in a way. I can take it out of there, but I use that to really get to these bad places. And it's extremely fine. It's kind of like a finishing file. And then once again, back to the sandpaper. And I use very fine grit, 400, 350 is good, 320 would work. No higher than, no lower than that. All right, that's, that's really, look, I'm starting to feel better about this. It's not going to ruin the sound of the cymbal. And actually, I used the cymbal on the gig. And it was fine, but it's just every time I looked at it, I just, I just got angry. <laughs> Luckily, no cracks. I've had students drop cymbals and crack them, and that's heartbreaking. It happens. I've not done it. I have stepped on the cymbal, but it just turns it inside out, which is easy to fix. All right, that's looking really good. So we got one, two, three, four flea bites now, okay? Now, what you can do... And this takes time, and I'll probably sh shut off the video at some time. You can just keep working it until those go away. You're literally making the symbol not exactly round. There'll be a little notch there, but that's what I'm going to do with this one, because I love this symbol. Yep, so that's pretty much it, and now the edge looks good. The edge was bad before. So hopefully this helps some of you folks if this has happened to you, which if you play as long as I have, um, you know, it's going to happen sometime. There will be accidents, things will be dropped. Uh, you know, the moral of the story is I always kind of insist that I move my own stuff, but, you know, before I knew it, I was w rolling a card up, and then someone was in my car trying to be helpful, and they just literally fell out of the car onto the cement from pretty high up. So, um, so yeah, the moral is either use a symbol safe, like I should have brought, and uh, or just, uh, just say, don't touch my stuff. So we'll see you next time. Thanks.